Let me just put my wedding ring on the right. Why do you wear it on finger? the middle finger? Because I lost weight. <laughs> really? Yeah, then look. It doesn't, so now it fits the other finger, but not that finger. Yeah, because the middle finger is a bit fatter, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, I don't know, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so, but you can put that in. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Hello, I'm Dino Barro. For you guys that don't know me yet, <laughs> <laughs> my name's Joe Pearson, and we both play in a band together. It's called Five Points Gang. I think that people that follow us, like on our social media, people that are watching this video now, they already know it. But the idea for this video is just to reach more people because it's like a, a really meaningful subject that we want to treat here. Yeah. So this, uh, the point of this video is to introduce you to a new project that we're working on which we've loosely called five points foundation yes. at the moment and i'll give you some a quick bit of background about why we're doing what we're doing and how we got to this position um some of you may know that uh, as a guitar player in five points gang i'm missing a finger on each hand and last year on my own personal youtube channel i created a video called how to play guitar with three fingers, which was a bit of a clickbait video really, and it was just a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, but it had a very good response, and I had a lot of meaningful messages, emails, and YouTube correspondence from people um, who had been suffering from physical problems, um, not just missing fingers, but other things. And they found it really interesting and helpful. So that prompted a discussion between Dino and myself, about maybe taking that idea and moving it further forwards because we recognize that there isn't that much help or support for people with physical impairments or disabilities, physical disabilities, for playing musical instruments in general. Yeah. I think that's fair. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, it is. I, I, I was really impressed like about your story when I met you and I think that you were really lucky to have your dad. That mm. so. Joe's dad was a musician as well, he's a musician as well. And then he understands that the fact that he, he has like, he doesn't have like five fingers in the hands and it doesn't matter to play like the guitar. No. So I think that in this case, you were lucky to have your dad, Very but there are lucky, loads yeah. of people there that they can play an instrument, they can still make music, but they think they are not capable, capable of. Yeah. Capable? Capable. Yeah. Capable, yeah. They're not capable of yeah. doing it. So yeah, that's the main reason, like to to give some tips because there are there are different ways to play the guitar or any other instruments that you can you can adapt like for your conditions. It doesn't mean that if you're missing a finger or if you're missing an arm that you cannot play music. You still can do it. You just need to know like how to start. And that's the main thing about like this foundation, just how can you start to develop your own way to see the instrument, to play the instrument. Yeah, absolutely. Because playing, learning to play a musical instrument gives you so many other things than just learning to play a musical instrument. It promotes self-discipline yes, absolutely. and the ability to set yourself goals and tasks and work on them and work through them in a methodical and quiet way which is a good path to mental health as much as anything else. Yeah. And it's a very rewarding thing. And I think something that I hadn't thought of, um, but Dino came, came up with early in the discussion about this project was parents perhaps who have got children who would like to learn to play musical instruments, but they've got some sort of physical impairment, missing fingers, missing teeth. It could be anything. And perhaps the pe par their parents are thinking, how is my child going to learn to play a musical instrument? And we're here to say, there are ways and means around that. Yeah. Anything can be achieved. Um, I think it would be interesting as well to talk about your journey through music. So you've got experience of yeah. teaching people. I'm yeah. not a teacher by vocation, um, but my experience obviously learning to play with, with some problems um, is useful. But you actually have got experience of teaching Yeah, like in, in teaching music, like the music education is so important like for, for a kid or for an adult. And yes, I have a degree in music, so it's just like my, it was my main, it is my main job since I am 16 years old, like to t teaching the guitar. It's so important, you know, because it doesn't mean that you need to be a professional musician, but just to have the contact with the instrument is important in loads of aspects. 
just socializing so it helps you to connect to other people mm. to work in a group it's so important like yeah, so many life skills yeah, are in, yeah, to are understand each other, teamwork. To, yeah, yeah, to think about the other person like close to you. And then when you are playing instruments, you are connecting to each other more than when you are just talking. Yeah, so it's so important, and I think it's a very great equalizer as well because, from my personal experience, I started playing guitar very young, and I was playing with mature musicians, and the fa if I was worried about having missing fingers or missing toes or any of the things that are wrong with my body none of that mattered when i was playing with other musicians oh yeah because music yeah. was just it transcended all of that it didn't matter yeah. it doesn't matter whether you're young or old or whether you're in a wheelchair or if you're playing music musicians around you will understand yeah that. absolutely it's a yeah. huge thing you just you hear that's how you feel the, the music yeah so it doesn't matter what you're seeing absolutely and also, we think maybe this is just like a, we didn't do like a big research on it, but I think that there are s so many courses and, and, and topics related to mental health, like dealing with music, but not with specific uh, physical conditions. Absolutely. And there are people that are suffering or maybe just leave and then think, oh, I cannot play music because... I don't have the mm. the right body to play music, but it doesn't matter. No, it really doesn't. Um, and you're absolutely right. The, uh, music is used even as a therapy for people with mental health conditions. It's some it's a recognised successful therapy, and um, yet nothing for people with with physical problems. So that's what we're here to address, isn't it? We're going to change that. Yeah. Um, and for all instruments, I mean, our, our goal is to eventually get to a point where we can help with anything, any other instrument. It's just about thinking outside the box and using some experience to look at different ways of doing things. We don't all have to be the same. We don't all have to play the same way. In fact, great things can be achieved by people who play differently yeah, and approach the instrument yeah. in a different way. Yeah, it's just like, if I think so, I, I, I don't have a, a physical, any, any kind of different physical conditions, but... When I'm writing songs, as I know, loads of like uh, I have a big knowledge like in musical theory. Sometimes I just think a lot on the theory more like just than just feeling the song. Mm. And then when I, when I started write, like writing some riffs for the guitar, and I was thinking, okay, I'm not a guitarist in this band, I'm the bass player. So I, I was just writing riffs. Uh, how can I play this riff with three fingers and thinking like <laughs> the way that Joel rising riffs for yeah, me yeah yeah kind of <laughs> which is great but it just came like different riffs you know like different ideas that you're gonna see like in our new debut album so maybe like if you have like a different condition that means that you are you are absolutely different like hmm. to all the musicians as well yeah and that's what people find interesting and they like being around that yeah definitely what? That's okay. Listen. All this is editable. Do you want to come in? So the final reason for doing this video is to invite you, um, if you're watching this and you've got a specialist requirement or you're thinking about taking up an instrument... Or I know and, someone... That, yeah, yeah. Your, or your parent um, and your child has got some sort of physical impairment or you have specific questions, we'd really like to hear those in the YouTube comments um, or by email or any other if you want to contact us on Facebook, we'll put all social media email. Hello, Ben. Um, <laughs> we'll put all of the, that detail down below in the description because we'd like to get a really good understanding of the kinds of things that people are struggling with so that we can start to build a syllabus or a course or try to look at how to structure videos to cover these issues as best we possibly can. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was really useful from the previous video that I had done um, hearing people's personal stories gave me hundreds of ideas for, for new little bits of instructional courses and videos and things. So yeah, we'd really invite you to leave us any stories, personal journeys, messages in the comments or via email or social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah. If you want to look for the email, just go to the website. What, where's the link for the website, Joe? <laughs> Oh yes, so the, the, the link for this website is fivepointsgang.com forward slash foundation. So we'll also put a link to that in the description below this video. What else? else? Um, Tell all your friends about this video because I think that the more we talk about this, we can reach people that probably need it to watch these videos. So yeah, if you just know someone yeah. or 
just if you can share like with your friends on your social media please help us because we are trying to help people as well absolutely yeah that's the introduction to what we're trying to do with five points gang foundation and uh, i've been joe pearson yeah i'm gino barrow yeah. thanks for checking us out and uh, please check back soon for new exciting content <laughs>